<laughs> oh dear. Uh, let's Look move up. on. Uh, speaking of uh, photo shoots, it was a photo finish in the Battle of the Bridge, that's for sure. And this was, uh, well, this was just a terrific contest, wasn't it, for a team that needed to make a statement against a team that has been making statements. Absolutely, for the past it month. was. Yeah, and the rivalry that we've spoken about, building, as Lordo said, one of their good players yesterday is our next guest, Jacob Hopper, with 26 disposals, joins us from Sydney. Jacob, thanks for your time, mate. Congratulations on the form yesterday. No, no, thanks for having us on. Um, yeah, it was a good win. What impressed you the most? Um, I think just our young guys really stepping up. Um, obviously, there's some opportunities for them to come in and play some significant roles with a few injuries and a few of our more older senior players going down. So I think just the, the buying and the energy and the kind of just what those younger guys are bringing to the table. So a lot of them was their first derby, so it was, um, it was a big game and it was just exciting to watch everyone crack in. I thought the way that you just hung in there, you hung around, it was frustrating because you had some easy opportunities. You ended up kicking nine goals, 17, and some good players missed some easy ones. Himmelberg, Green and Kelly missed some. But you just did enough to hang in there against a very, very good side. It was a good learning lesson for the young side, as you said. Yeah, no, we felt like we were playing some really good footy. Obviously, we're just missing our opportunities. Um, I think, yeah, Toby kicked all of the one goal hand just about. <laughs> Couldn't get a sniff, but we were giving ourselves plenty of opportunities, and I think that was what we were kind of hanging our hat on. We knew that we were playing good footy. We just needed to finish it off. Jacob, the season was on a knife's edge only uh, two weeks ago. You came to Melbourne, beat Collingwood uh, in an unlikely win, and now you've strung another one together. Do you feel you've got yourselves back on track? Yeah, it obviously wasn't the, the start that we were after. And, you know, we felt like our pre-season form going into the game was, was strong. And, um, you know, obviously we didn't play the footy that we knew we were capable of. And, you know, we had a few injuries and a few guys go down that, you know, that's footy and we kind of had to accept that and move on. And I think it just has kind of created this real buy-in from everyone. A lot of the young guys are stepping up, getting opportunities. Um, we definitely feel like we're playing better footy. Obviously, uh, the WA game wasn't our finest moment and we had to reflect hard on that and have a real good hard look at ourselves. And um, But yeah, like I said, I think it's just the opportunities that we have now going forward is huge and I think our energy around the group is, is really significant and we're just cracking in and having a go and, and playing some real good, good footy. We know we've got a lot to improve still, but um, you know we're giving ourselves every opportunity to win games of footy. Jacob, you mentioned Toby Green, one goal, seven, 11 score involvements. Massive fan from the inception of Toby Green. Not like these Johnny come lately, uh, like our host who never liked him, but now all of a sudden likes him as a leader. But every time you see him play, he just stands up and does a leadership thing. Yeah, exactly right. He's our, um, you know, he's kind of our spiritual leader, I suppose, in a way. He just kind of leads everything that we want to stand for as, as giant footy and. Um, you know, he's come in and he's obviously had to step up as captain as well. And, you know, the leadership he shows is obviously shown the way he plays and the way he taps the footy. And we've always known that. And we always have had that belief in Toby internally, no matter what kind of been said on the outside. Just on the Giants, Jacob, you've just seen so many players come and leave your football club. Could all these kids playing and the opportunity they've got and he's building like in the last couple of wins you've got, could it be the key to actually growing these kids through and, and not losing players? You know, with the way you're having to grow from the bottom, really, at the moment. You lose Steve Canilio, you lose Matt DeBoer, but young kids are coming in impacting and it might make them even happier and want to stay. What are you in the keys to maintaining your players from this point on? Yeah, I think, you know, we're obviously, I think, we're the youngest side out there on, on the, for this weekend anyway, and... Um, yeah, to get opportunities like that is gold. You know, you know it's like so early in your career to be able to play league footy. It's all you kind of want to do. So to be given those opportunities is massive for everyone's belief going forward, especially those you know those kids that have come in and playing their first derby. I mean, last week it was the first time in the G for a lot of them, and um, to be able to just have that kind of performance and, and to be able to execute the roles that they're executing is um, is huge. And obviously, it's, it's massive for their internal belief going forward and, and our whole you know belief as a group and it's um it's massive for us that they can you know it's one thing to get the opportunity it's another thing to kind of grasp it and, and run with it and just go you know full speed ahead hey hops he uh, tell us about the new jumper <laughs> mate uh, the charcoal is the new black looks great 
Yeah. No, it's, um, I think it's just been received really well. I know we all loved it. Um, you know, I think it's already sold out, which is big right. for, for the giant fan, fan base. No, it's fantastic. He's from Leeton, New South Wales, uh, Hopsy. That's good. Let's yeah. take a look at the votes, Bill, because I think he might feature. He was that good, as I said, with 26. Got him in there. Yeah, we did. Franklin's oh, sensational with Hayward. five. Will Haywood is another Mummy. young player that Sydney oh, have got. Mummy. Hopper. And the Mumford story, yes. I don't know if it's getting yeah. enough credit for what he's doing. Two he games, was two wins. The highest ranked player on the ground. You must as love him, Hopsy. 35 year old ruck coach. Okay. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Hopsy's uh, just said good. What? Sorry? So I asked a question. Yeah. About Mumford. You must love him. No, no. No, no. He's about. What is he? He's about 45 going on 50. <laughs> and um, to, kind of, to kind of come out and be able to do what he does is uh, is huge. I, don't, I honestly don't know how he does it. I, watching him train throughout the week, it honestly looks like <laughs> after all that, just in, there's everything going on in that body. But Sausages. somehow he just finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as sausages for his recovery. <laughs> but um, no, he just he just finds a way. He finds a way and it's, uh, it's been huge for us. Hey, we're, we're running out of time, Jacob, but ever since Mark McClure was Ask on, we're, uh, we're actually interested in uh, the artwork on particular walls. Um, what's that one behind you? I've been trying to work out what it is. What's the art depicting on your wall there? Yeah, this is... Uh, oh. I'm not sure if he... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's... Uh, that's the. That's not my touch, unfortunately. That's my um, my girlfriend and and her family. That was a Christmas gift, so I made sure I hung that one up. Yeah, yeah nice, very nice. All right, good on you, mate. Thanks very much for joining us, and uh, all the best for the remainder of the season. Good question. <laughs> no worries. Thanks, Adam. It's really, good. really good yeah. finish. Good finish. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he cut your Mumford question oh, off. because he was to to that, yeah. Well, because that a lot of people rubbish. at home would have been looking at that. No, they no, were. No, 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 no. Not, not, not one person. person not one person. They're actually Absolutely wanting to listen to him talk about <laughs> Mumford. Yeah. yeah. Look at the photo. Oh, don't you turn. <laughs> don't you turn. <laughs> just want to inject yourself. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, Jacob's look at Jacob's ego. Van Gogh over here. Anyway, while we're talking about it, I wish you would Van Gogh. Can you flick a light on next time, Jacob?